Welcome to UPSL Blazers versus Villarreal. On the commentary today, you have myself, Daniel Rashid, and Alfred. Yeah, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, for another night of UPSL football here at Anadel. Both teams desperately looking for a win. Blazers, just one win this season against Tel FC in their opening match day in PSSL. Haven't been able to get anything going really since that win. Villarreal absolutely lost every game they've played this season. Had a close one against Alexandria Reds the other day where they almost pulled off a draw but they conceded around the 70th, 70th minute. Today both teams have a chance to have a go at themselves and probably snatch out a win which will prove to be crucial in their UPSL race. Of course for your commentary, there's me and there's Daniel Rashid, and behind the camera as well, we have Alejandro Gomez. And we cannot wait to get started for a match that will be absolutely exciting. What are your thoughts on the game, Daniel? Well, one of the key things we noticed before the game started is Fuentes is not here, right? And Pacheco, how is that going to help Blazers in their game plan against Villarreal? Because those two guys were instrumental in their game against the Reds where they almost pulled it off you know, I, I noticed those guys were very very good for them and then uh, for the Blazers side they have uh, a lot of a lot of good talent actually they, it was heartbreaking that lo uh, loss they had against the lead in the final few moments they were in control of that game the whole game and then they conceded very late No music. Sorry. <laughs> well, we're about to get underway here. Giving you scores from earlier games. Pure Dream losing 3 1 to VA Revolution. And Arlington as well losing 5 2 to Grove United. Lynchburg 4 1 over DC United. DC United losing 4 1. Lost 4 1. Against Lynchburg. Lynchburg. Wow, surprising results there. Uh, tells you about the magic of the UPSL. Awesome. Like, uh, very quality teams all the way through. A reminder Good. that this is Blazers' first Good. season in the UPSL. Yeah, I'll make sure nobody comes. Don't worry. Yeah. I just don't want anybody to like run through it. Oh, like, okay. I'll, I don't want to close it. Okay. Okay. Works. Okay. Awesome. Central United absolutely hyped up for this game. Beg your pardon, it's Villarreal 
I've commentated on so many Alexandria United games, and it's uh, every time now I say something, it's Alexandria. Interesting today, Xavier Gwynn is the captain for Blazers United with Andrew Jennings on the bench. Xavier Gwynn scored his first goal for Blazers against Stellid FC last week, oh, sorry, in midweek. Assisted by Goshu, both of them will be playing up top tonight for Blazers. Well, here we go. Alexandria Unite, Villarreal. <laughs> <laughs> I beg your pardon once again. Villarreal get us on the way in their yellow shirts. They've conceded 34 goals this season, 33 in the VSSL and one in the European cell. Haven't scored too much either, only three goals. We will look to try to get goals tonight. Good little movement up the middle with great control. But Blazers calmly complex. Blazers already on their way. Blazers, a disappointing loss against this is man in number 11, Lopez. Finds himself at the front front. Short over the intended target. Great idea, but uh, three on one in the box. Uh, it has to be right on in order for that ball to get anywhere dangerous. Alexandra United trying to get going in the opening minutes of this game. Should, of course, will have chances. Anything we've learned in Blazers games is they do concede a lot of chances. Lopez trying to turn away. It's awkward for the Blazers defense, but it's dealt with appropriately. Is that Jonathan? Yeah, Jonathan is in goal. Okay. Big fan of him. No, I, actually, you know, I, no, he's played for me. Yeah, it's Jonathan Chacon or Cocon. Great keeper. This is Mike Otuni. He was missing it against the Elite, actually. That was a big thing for them. I think if he was there, like some of those goals would not have gone in. Ball is missed there by Dominic. Had a fantastic game against Elite FC the other day. Yes, was he was great in that game. It was unfortunate to be on the losing side, though. This is Tosi. It's a brilliant ball that Alexandria. <laughs> man coming hard. Good man. You mean in this game or in the season? The Blazers will absolutely not want to hear their record. They've, they just have one win in their last eight matches, two wins in their last ten. Yeah, you see there, like Villarreal player, Blazers player. Ball was wide open. They both were just a little scared to go into that tackle. At least it looked like we're just going to win. So you got to go hard into those tackles. Especially in UPSL, we have those very physical players in every team. Blazers were the only team to have lost to Barcroft last season. Played them two times. One was a 2-2 draw, and then the other one was a 4-2 defeat. You know, the crazy thing about Barcroft losing last season, a lot a lot of their players just are very talented. Very talented. It's surprising. Cross goes in again. Oh, he almost fell there for yellow shirt, and the ball is taken again. It's the first effort on goal in this match. And it's come from Rosales. I like the energy from the Villarreal bench over there. You know, they did have it on target. They're still hyping him up and, you know, getting the, the energy up for their team. 
Le Real do have a habit of starting games very well, but not ending it very well. Sounds like it's mental for them. They did score a fantastic oh, goal. Another shot again! Jonathan Chacon wasn't very sure, had to pull the ball out. Promising signs here. Great, great. Very nice guys. Promising signs here for Blazers. Blazers still looking for their way in this game. They come into this game as the favourites, though, with the amount of goals Villarreal have conceded this season. Dominic challenging for that one. This is Xavier Gwynn. His real first touch in the game goes astray. Villarreal recycling again. Ball is played for Brooks Allen. Now Villarreal can. Has it. Ball! Still struggling in this game. Ball is played through, was looking for Goshu. Ends up finding a yellow shirt. This is Rosales, now Gitman. Tosi. Acres of space for him to run into. That is Manny number three. Oh, and he gets there. Here is Villarreal come through again. They're trying to play that ball through the middle. No yellow shirts available. Now here comes Blazers. Maybe a chance for them to go in front. This is Andrew Gomez. Andrew Gomez gets himself wrapped up and it's a good win by Brooks. Rosales. Now Gitman. This is man in number 13, Summers. It's a brilliant ball played for Brooks Allen, who was waiting for it. A vital interception there from the Blazers back line. Blazers jersey numbers incredibly hard to spot from this angle. Jonathan Chacon has been tested already in this game. This is Xavier Gwynn. Trying to twist and turn. Mike Mutoni. Normally plays as a centre back, does look like he's playing as a wing back tonight. I'm not too sure what the strategy is. Blazers just trying to settle and get into their groove. It's been very difficult for them so far. Jeremy Goshu looking for Xavier Quinn. Unable to find him. That has been peculiar in most of the games that um, Blazers have played this season. And another chance here again for Villarreal, but the touch was too heavy from Brooks Allen. And he gave Jonathan Chacon the favorite position to be. Yeah, Chacon's going to collect those every time. Chacon had an outstanding save against Alexandria United in their 2 0 loss was probably the man of the match, in my opinion, in that game. Uh, Chacon is a very good keeper. Uh, if, he, if you let him get his confidence... Oh, they've oh, given no. the ball away. Here is Jeremy Goshu. Oh, it's two high. against one. Yeah. And, and it's Xavier. Oh, my goodness. Have that one time. Go, go, go. 
real chance that was for Jeremy Goshu, providing an assist for Xavier Gwynn in the 3-2 loss against the Lid FC. Almost provided one there as well. Well, maybe could have gone for the chance himself, Daniel. What do you think about that? I think both of them should have had it one time. I mean, uh, Jeremy actually, he could have taken a touch, then had it. But Xavier, there's no reason to, to take that. There's no reason for him to take that touch. <coughs> Pass was given to Ruki in front of goal. There was a man coming. All he had to do was hit it one time. And he didn't even have to hit it hard. Place it in the corner. Yeah. Xavier, is that just one goal for places this season? Maybe could have had more. Still working on his finishing. But a very brilliant player. Nonetheless, here comes um, Villarreal again. There's one yellow shirt making his way into the box, but the ball never came. Villarreal have looked the better side, but just feels like Blazers are starting to get into the game, starting to settle. Yeah, you can see they're really established possession right now, like calm the game down. So Blazers, I think, can do it like I've seen them play. Like an elite, they were for the game against Elite this past week. They were in control of that game the whole time until the very final moment. Yeah, that would have been really hurtful if you were a Blazers fan or a Blazers player. Controlled and led for most part of that game and ended up losing 3 2. Another ball again, perhaps a bit too heavy for Jeremy Goshu. Jeremy Goshu never free to press when he has the chance. Ball is played to Young. Now this is Gitman. Rosales. Now Tosi. Not afraid to pass the ball around. Start trying to build from the back. It's a nice turn by Garcia. Gitman. Great time. Waiting to receive it. Does receive it. Man in the middle. Oh my Whoa. goodness. Brooks Allen turns. And he's had the ball great, snatched great away time. from him. Yeah, good ball from Gomez, isn't it? Ball is played for Xavier Quinn, who was calling for it, but definitely was not in the position to make that run. You know who's been quiet this game so far? Home hand. Yeah, Dominic has been quiet. Yeah. I think he's one of their best players. It's probably because the game hasn't been played a lot in the middle. It's been played mostly on the wing. This is Brooks Allen again. Looks to be like a menace, Brooks Allen. Why not? From a distance. Trying his luck. Yeah, this is going to be crucial. Like, uh, Evan had a great assist, I think, uh, all against the league. So did... Uh, like Evan Andrew and Dominic need to get involved more. I've seen Andrew being involved quite a lot. Like Dominic is quiet. Man. He's very good, I think. Yep, Dominic probably one of the best midfielders they have in this team. Jeremy Gosha will get there first. Now this is Dominic. Oh my goodness, what a ball that is! But just late to it, Benjamin. Michael Tooney has something to deal with here, exposes the ball, puts it out for a throw. Well, safety is not a goal, is it? Yeah. Here comes Villarreal again, Brooks Allen, the option, Gitman as well. He can't be walking back. You, know, like, you see a bunch of Blazers players are walking back on that. You have the ball in your half, and half your team is still up front. That's that's on a that's Blazers coach. I'm fuming about that. Oh, he tries his luck from range. Oh, probably a bit um, over ambitious there from Rosales. Sorry, that wasn't Rosales. Is it? He's playing number twenty-eight. Oh, there's the physicality I'm looking to see from. There's no way that's a foul. Did he call a foul? Yeah, there was a. Uh, no. The elbow showed oh, there the quite elbow? a lot. Yeah. The referee. I mean, that's what they need, honestly. They need to be physical, especially against uh, the more unexperienced teams. If you're physical, then you can easily turn the tide of the game. 
This is Gitman. A Cinderon of Summers. The ball is intercepted. Evans. Now this is Evans dropped. Ball had gone out before he was retrieved by Andrew Gomez. Rosales away. You said that. Xavier oh, that was awkward. This is Lopez. Rusalet will do well to retrieve it at the far end. Looking for Summers there. And Michael Tooney comes out with the challenge and How many does do Xavier the job. Played with the Blazers? I think he's played all of the games. Yeah. That's probably six. This is his sixth him, game. See him rocking the captain's armband over there. Yeah, he's very, very big challenge for a young player that he is. Let's see him step up in the challenge, get some goals for his team. Yes, definitely. Um, another cross Ball comes in, in again. Brooks Allen is first to it. Still trying to turn there. Ball is whipped away. Straight into the hands of Tosi. Now Campero. Gitman. And the the tackle. Gomez with the tackle. He's also a very good player. I yeah, think Gomez has been good. fantastic every time he's played for uh, Blazers. So far, no Ibrahim Koroma, the star player for Blazers. He scored four goals this season. Yeah, you know, it was surprising to see him come off in the game against uh, Elite. Things did fall apart after his yeah. after he was taken off at halftime, wasn't it? That was, that was, I think, the turning point for them, that game. But, I mean, they were in control of the game, so maybe, you know, the coach thought that, hey, let me just rotate my players. We're in control of the game. So it, until the very last minute, he was correct, you know? Yep. Well, he was correct until he wasn't. Yeah. Evans towards the path of Xavier Quinn, who is suddenly pacey up. But Garcia was always favorites to that one. Now, this is Dominic. Benjamin. Goshu is not offside, or is he? Oh, no. And Goshu, even with the flag being up, still ends up not finding the back of the net. Well, Goshu, one of his issues, when he makes his runs, he doesn't time them well. He doesn't. Okay, this is not. Uh, it's a common occurrence. I see him offside. Instead of making uh, a curved run or a second run, right? You know, a check in and then run. He tends to just make a forward run. Which, like, if if the midfielder is not ready, it it will end up in him ending up offside. A reminder that the voice you're hearing right now is Daniel Rashid. He's also the coach of North Star, so certainly knows what he's talking about. Yeah, I mean, uh, I was told by some of my players that maybe I shouldn't be commentating because of I'll point out is issues on teams. But it's fun. It's fun, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's on them to fix them, not me. Still goal that's between the sides. My prediction earlier on for this game was a 4-1 win for Blazers, but through the passage of this game, I'm not sure if I do if I stand by that anymore. Andrew misses it. Right there, you know, like you gotta fight for the ball. Flag fall. Evans. Xavier. He's got too much time. And it's because they're not being physical. Xavier no. trying to slice the ball through for Goshu. The defenders were having none of it. This is Mike. Goshu is offside once again. Yeah, he's going to keep his runs. Yeah, 
and it moves way too early. He's always ahead of the game. One run to boost the defender, and then one run to receive the ball. Or one run to create space, and then the second run to receive the ball. Kitmat. This is Tosi. Almost finding Goshu there. Could have been a problem. But I still think he's a very talented player. Definitely is. There's very no talented. argument about that. But this could be awkward, but it's dealt with really well. Very calm presence in the middle over there. Is that uh, Mauricio? Yeah, Mauricio. So he's playing center back. Yep. Yeah. I did. I did. Uh, I did. When we were trying out, I did partner with him. Yeah. At the back as well. Absolute an outstanding player, by the way. Yes. He's got a lot of talent. I think that's just inexperience and chemistry as well. Chemistry, yeah. Yeah, but it's a team if they maintain it. it I think I think they'll be very good. Yes. I think if they keep their core together, maybe add one or two pieces. Uh, they'll be very good. Evans definitely offside. Brooks Allen. Yeah, they, they, I think they beat me last season too. Yeah, yeah they did win four, uh, four. It was a 4 2 win for Blazers against North Stars. Evans, Xavier Gwynn, what a control that is! And he just takes it away from him. Terrific piece of defending by the centre back. But well, what a chance that could have been for Xavier Gwynn, who looks to be getting into the mood now. Yeah. But he, he had space, he had time, you know. Don't think he did, actually. I don't know. He, had a, he, he moved the ball into a good space. He's a little too heavy with that touch. The Maybe. first touch was very good, but then the touch after that was a little too heavy. Ball with Dan. Evans with the header. It's awkward. Will be a throw for Blazers. <laughs> Mauricio's ball. A white shirt at the end of it there. Rasales away. Benjamin with the header. Villarreal have a chance to break here. Oh, that's a terrible foul. Very good foul. A cynical foul from Villarreal's perspective, I mean, but an absolutely brilliant foul uh, from a Blazers' perspective. Depends who you are, depends who you're a fan of. I mean, it, it was clearly a foul, but it was a like, very smart foul. You know, to stop the attack. Now everyone's back for Blazers. You know, now they're in formation. Now, now the danger's really going. Just gone, but that could have been a yellow. Referee but, would will now have him in his mind. Any other foul, you just feel it will happen. Campero arriving, and Jonathan first to it once again. A very proactive goalkeeper. Yeah, Jonathan's so good. This is Tosta. Evans truck called out. Is. I actually uh, asked him to play for me this season, uh, but then he told me he already was on the team. That was before I had Jack. Oh, Gitman has made an absolute mess of the header. Jeremy Goshu arriving. Evan struck. Dominic. Now Dominic. And Jeremy Goshu once again was coming from an offside position as the fly goes up. And Villarreal, after a bit of a mess at the back, survive. Yeah, there's not much talking going on until just now, really. Now you're hearing players communicate more. I think that was one of the strengths from last game that they were doing early in the game, but then stopped uh, against the lead. That's a brilliant ball for Campero. He's got Summers. Still, Campero. There's no reason. If someone has that bad of a t first touch on the ball, that they should still maintain possession. You know, like he lost the ball. There's two Blazers players around him. Right? They need to communicate on who goes 
Dad will receive that ball. See if it and lovely touch that. We've got Evan in the whole time, but behind the Mauricio. Mauricio goes through, goes up. It's beating in the hair. Now, this is Dominic. Dominic was. There was a foul. I think Dominic Colson was pushed slightly. Referee was just right there. Ball whipped in for Goshu again. Summers with the header. Right one back by Mejia. Now this is Brooks Allen. He's got Lopez on his left. Brooks Allen trying to go all by himself and goes for the shot. And he goes wide. Well, I mean, there's a centre forward, isn't he? That yeah. has his right. I don't think anybody was in a promising position that could have done better. Yeah. But it's promising once again from Villarreal, who break and break prominently. Making a pass can open up space for you to run into and receive another pass. This is Maurizio. But he now Evans. Can't get this could be good for Blazers. Jeremy Goshu has the chance here. Oh, no. Oh, my word. He was trying to slice the pass on the side for Xavier Gwynn, who was all alone, just unable to get the pass through. Now, Campero. Starting to become a little more exciting. Right? Yes, end to end slot. Both teams going for the jugular. Now, let's see who can make first blood. Jonathan, not the most convincing of clearances. Jonathan, by the way, was replaced by another goalkeeper against Elite FC, who I would say didn't have the finest of games. Yeah, Jonathan, I think, was busy. He was actually there. He was on the was? Like, yeah, he was. Oh, then I'm surprised. Jonathan. Oh, my goodness. A terrible mistake. Here comes Goshu. He's got Xavier in the box. Still Goshu. Dominic is there as well. Whoa. Xavier! Oh my goodness, how has he missed? Perfectly placed. The cross could not have been better. And Xavier just couldn't direct his header towards goal and the ball goes out for a goal kick. Daniel, how disappointing is that header? Very disappointing. You know, also, the, the second option, Dominic, was wide open at the top of the box. But I think that was the perfect cross, that though. Was a great, great cross. You've got to make that. Xavier Gwynn, what a miss that is from this keeper. But had the chance to take the lead, has the chance to give his team the lead in this game. But wow, what a miss that is. But he's the sort of player that does not will not think twice about that. He will he will just dust the, the miss and try to move on. But what a miss though that is. This is young. Villarreal will not be shaking from their method of trying to play from their back. Dangerous. Jonathan always was going to be the first to eat. They've missed it again. Xavier. Now Goshu. The combination between Xavier and Goshu now coming to life. Evans hasn't seen the run of Gomez. Now Dominic Coulson. Has it? Dominic Coulson's effort is blocked and he takes a deflection out for a corner. Blazers absolutely blazing. Here, I'm not too sure if that's even a word, but <laughs> maybe we should go to Buffalo Wild Wings get some blazing wings. After. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, I do have wings here from uh, from China King. <laughs> Can't wait to devour it during halftime. Alejandro, what's your thoughts so far on the game? <laughs> Pretty good game so far, like you two would say, back and forth. Hopefully, we get a. Each team has had a chance to score. Yeah, hopefully we get a goal from this one as well. Ball is taken. <laughs> Oh my goodness, a slight miss for a goal kick. I think it was Andrew Gomez who was rising and rising, just never got to it. I think the Blazers are going to end up getting the goal. They're going to find a way back in the net because they've had some very good chances. They've had, and uh, that partnership up front between Goshu and 
Xavier Gwynn starting to come to life. Yeah. As long as Goshu can keep himself on side, that, that little that would be a lethal combination up front. Yep. Blazers have had six goal scorers this season. Four. Um, they've had they've scored 13 goals this season. Four of them have come from Ibrahim Koroma. And uh, Andrew Jennings has scored one. Garcia has scored one. Toledo has scored one. Jeremy Gosher has scored one. And Xavier as well has scored one. Great ball. That is a fantastic ball. Xavier! Oh my goodness. Oh, definitely Oh my god. He got another bite at the apple. And he still missed. Get in the right position, getting in the right spots. Now he's just finished. Xavier Gwynn with the good chances in this half. And he hasn't been taken. And once again, Villarreal just switching off there. This is Andrew Gomez. Now Evans trying to turn. Brilliant ball. Jonathan gets the ball. Good positioning, otherwise, Lopez was away. Kind of reminds me of the sweeper keeper there. Yes. You know, last line of defense. That, yeah, he does, he, and he does play like a sweeper goalkeeper as well, right? Okay, hold it, he's holding him off. Ball whipped in! Oh. Brooks Allen! All alone! Still couldn't take the chance. Isn't that Benjamin on the far far left over there? Yes, for Blazers, yes. Yes, yes he's, he's got a rocket of a kick. They should be trying to get the ball to him and then switching sides. They were doing that very well against the league. Especially with their two pass strikers. Uh, Goshu and Zayka. Get the ball over to Benjamin. They can get him in space for him to give a cross to the opposite end. I mean, they, they were doing that a lot against the team. Yeah, they were. But what, just as we talked about it, that fire that they started, Villarreal have just fizzled out. Here is Xavier, Xavier again, still holding up. Hoping for him. This is Dominic. And Dominic had the ball snatched away from him. This is Mejia. Now Benjamin. Goshu. Goshu pass. Unable to find the white shirts. The Real have done well to play the ball out. Now, this is Gitman. Tosi. Is that anybody too comfortable? Is like, how, how many shoulders just like anything physical? There's not been too much in the game from either team. The Real. Oh, that's a brilliant ball! Not too sure the linesman spotted the run and said he's offside and will not count. Oh, he did play the ball out. Probably going to be a yellow card or a talking to a yellow card. The flag had gone up, the whistle had gone. Still, Lopez kicked it out of play. And you would argue, but referee does think it's a deserving yellow card. Yeah, yeah 100%. But also, it could have been a warning. Villarreal, yes, yeah, certainly frustration starting to creep in for Villarreal, who started teams, the game very well. Both teams are not being physical at all. Just... What a header that is. He I couldn't miss. Being a little more physical. Like, you know, they got to... They can't let... Oh, they have... oh goodness me. They so They're playing with fire. Villarreal playing with fire in their own box. See there? Dominic got to him. Should have gone shoulder to shoulder with him. You know? Be a little more physical. That's what I, I want to see from both these teams. It's just physicality. A reminder that uh, Ibrahim Paroma is on the bench. Oh, he's here? I think so. That would be a great impact spell. Gitman! Brilliant from Lope. Oh, 
Lopez with the header, it was a flick on in his path. Campero made the run, but Jonathan just too quick. Ball whipped in the air. Missed by Tosi. Oh, and Goshu. Goshu is offside once again. Probably the most obvious offside move of the night. Goshu. Yeah, he's been caught offside about four times already in this half. I was just about to say, fourth or fifth time. Yep. <laughs> and it's just the way he finds his own. Andrew Gomez was the first to win. Money number 28, that is Santana. He's done well in the middle of the park for... Uh, Villarreal, ball is played long again. That has been the results now. This is Brooks Allen. Mauricio coming well. This is Andrew Gomez. Andrew Gomez for Xavier. He's not offside. Oh my goodness, was he offside? I, I don't I'm not sure. I think uh, the center back for Villarreal might have kept him offside. Yeah, I think he's just. It's just his body language, and then the, the yeah. linesman thought maybe he was offside and then made the call. But he did look like he was onside there for that one. Now you can see Villarreal's falling apart. So I think it was a giveaway there. Yeah. Well, a lot of mentality issues. I've, I've, I've watched a lot of their games. They do tend to start games well, they just never tend to finish them well. And as you can see, they're start, starting to crumble as this half comes to an end. Mauricio, Nike. Just... Michael Tooney, Dominic Colton has the run of Benjamin. Still Benjamin here and another corner for Blazers who have been fantastic in the last 15 minutes or so for Blazers. I think they need to be more physical, man. Like this game has been too, like, too soft. Yeah, but I mean, we're going to see hopefully a lot. Uh, hopefully they go into the half and then talk talk about physicality talk about finding the open man you know and then also just not being offside especially for blazers there's so many offside calls that could have ended in goals for them but i think as of right now blazers are well in control of this game but as you can see against elite they lost control of it it's, so let's see how this this shapes up the outswinger goes again and Andrew Gomez once again rising to it, and uh, the Blazers players wanted another corner. The linesman was having none of it. That's way too easy for him. Villarreal needed, like, he's all the way far post with a man on him. There's no way he should rise up and get that header. That's just, he wanted it. Where's the heart and passion for Villarreal, you know? In the communication, they need to they need to show some of that. Brooks Allen certainly has showed passion in this game. Yes, he has. Somers, but he can't be doing it alone. There is Brooks Allen again. It's a heavy touch. Evans just puts the ball out. Ran out of real, real estate. estate there. <laughs> 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 There's no way. That is a soft tackle. Is that I'm a Daniel catchphrase? Is that a Noah catchphrase? It's, it's a Noah. It's Noah's catchphrase. We ran out of uh, real estate. <laughs> a second bite at the apple. Don't worry, Noah. Andrew oh, Gomez. Oh, oh, no. Oh, my oh, goodness, oh, Goshu. Oh, he just needed a slight contact, and he could have gone to Benjamin, who was waiting. Once again, the ball is played to Goshu. A foul. And a free kick. Just about an area where there could be danger here for Villarreal. And Blazers will feel that they've been the better side in this half and will feel that perhaps they could get a goal in this first half. I mean, they've definitely been the better side by far. Someone is calling for Reda. Who is Reda, by the way? Somebody says, uh, let's put Reda in. 
Dominic Coulson standing over this one. Ball is whipped in. There we go. Tosi gets the header away. Gitman. Now Brooks Allen certainly has the pace. He's gotten past Mejia. He got two on one. Oh my goodness. Oh, and the pass is away. absolutely dreadful from Brooks Allen, who did so well. And he can't believe he hasn't made much of that chance. He didn't have to do that. There was a man wide open in the middle. But I think he, that was who he was looking for, and he just put a little too much on that. Blazers nil. Villarreal nil. Blazers, perhaps by some margin, I've been, by a slight margin, I've been the better side. They've created the better chances. Xavier probably should have had two goals by now, but. Evans challenges, but he's beating in the air by Rosales. Brooks Allen trying to make up for the earlier mistake, but... They need to put someone on Brooks Allen, and then the game will close for Villarreal. Let's just put a man marker on him. That's it. That is a good ball. Goshu has managed to keep it in play. No, he hasn't. Ball just drifted away from him. All, all the chances side. have been all the chances have been uh, through Brooks Allen's for Villarreal. Oh. So oh wait, Alejandro was still saying was that offside as well? At some point, I'm, if I'm the Blazers coach, I'm thinking about taking him out. Just, you know, <laughs> so many offsides. <laughs> well, I mean, if you want Goju to be, if you want him to be taken off. Then you should see Darwin Nunez. Darwin yeah. Nunez had about eight offsides against Chelsea when Liverpool uh, it, beat them it, 4 1. It's just, you know, if you keep getting offside, yeah. you know, like if you don't implement any consequence for that, he's going to keep getting offside. Speaking of Liverpool, they were eliminated by Atalanta, the Europa League. Especially if you have Ibrahim on the bench. Yeah. So. I think three of them will work well, but so yeah. far. I, but they do need the players in the middle as well. I think he, he might just be having an off day. This is Lopez. Ball is good. But it's not good enough as Jonathan just rises to it. Yeah, might, I think Goshu might just be having an off day today with all those offsides. Or perhaps he's just slow to react. So he's just ahead of play every single time. Well, then he needs to make that second run, basically. You know, or slow his play down. Xavier Gwyn was looking for that chance. Referee wasn't going to allow him. Hey, Eric Jennings. Oh, Eric Jennings is in the chat. One of my favorite players, by the way, in the BSSL. Yeah, he's quality. Oh, that is a good oh, ball. No. Brooks Allen is offside. Oh, what a fantastic ball. But finish will not count as the flag went up immediately. I'm telling you what Blazers should do. Just put a man on Brooks Allen, and then most of the game will close for Villarreal. All their chances, everything that's being created for Villarreal has gone through him. Yeah. They put someone on him, just man mark him. That's your 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 job for the next half. All right, man mark the guy, and uh, just know where he is at all times, and then that will that will. I don't think Villarreal will. And they do find something without him. Um, Blazers, by the way, I think it's the first time I've seen them using three at the back. Um, oh, oh no! Xavier is offside. How many offsides have we had in this game? And Xavier still, and Xavier still puts it wide. I'm not too sure if the Blazers bench do agree with that decision, though. They think Xavier was onside. And Blaze and Xavier will see yellow for putting the ball out, even when the whistle had gone. I think that's that might be a little unnecessary, but I mean he called it to the other team, so. Yeah. So somebody is saying he needs a a player to hit 1.5 shots so he can make his part. <laughs> Sports betting. <laughs> Parlays in the UK sell of Oh, that well. would be fantastic, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, man. I'm going. Uh, I'm going. Um, no clean. If, if, if that was uh, I'd, I'd, most of the games, I think I'd go for no clean sheets for Villarreal. Yeah. And no clean sheet for North Stars as well. Oh, we had a clean sheet. Yeah, but that was the first time ever. 
for me, I was definitely put up parlay on uh, uh, the North Stars keeper, Jack, making a good three saves, at least three, three saves. A game? Yeah. Well, here you go. He's made tremendous saves this season. What a keeper North Stars has. Yeah. Big game Last coming up, too, against Arlington on Wednesday. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. We got some secret weapons coming. Up. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So I've been uh, I've been told that Benjamin. It's actually Benji, not Benjamin. I thought he was short for for, for Benjamin, but it, it is just Benji. Yes. Xavier! He's got to be careful. He's got a yellow already. Yeah, Xavier, he's on a yellow. A chance here for Villarreal to whip this cross in. It's awkward. Whoa. Almost fell there for yellow shirts. This is Dominic. Goshu with the touch. What if they play Goshu at a center attack in mid? It's a bit too hard from Young and split it out. By the way, if you're if you're following this, please don't forget to follow our don't forget to subscribe to the page, the YouTube channel, and also drop a like as well. And um also if you're watching Please make sure to subscribe on Instagram on a World <laughs> X podcast hosted by Eric Jennings. It has fantastic guests. They talk about different issues. It's a good chance here for Goshu. He's eyeball to eyeball with the center back. Played it for Xavier! Oh, and Xavier and Abel. Their connection is great up top. Absolutely, and that will mark the end of things in this first stuff. So many chances for Blazers, unable to make any of them count. Villarreal will count their lucky stars. That Xavier has not been clinical in this first stuff. It's halftime here at Anderdale. It's Blazers nil, Villarreal nil. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we should have.
enough that ended up in a nil-nil draw. Hopefully one of these two teams, Blazers and Villarreal, can find the back of the net. I think there's been chances for both sides. A lot of a lot of missed chances for Blazers and a couple for Villarreal as well. I don't think either keeper has really been tested, but hopefully this half we're gonna see a lot more, a lot more of those chances making their way to the back of the net. What do you think, Alfred? I hope to see goals in the second half. I really hope. Yeah, me too. I think I think we'll, hopefully they went back and talked about, you know, the offsides for Blazers and that you know, trying to build up and be more physical for Villarreal. I think another big key is Dominic getting himself more involved. He's been really quiet. He had a couple good good balls, but been uh, in part of the game too much. But now, first touch for him. Now, ball whipped out wide. Ball intended for Brook. Now we have Bench to throw. Looking for Jeremy. Ball given to Dominic. again. Evans, Dominic. Evans back again to come get collect. Whipped out by Villarreal. Now they have it. Coming up the sideline. They're maintaining possession real well to start this half. He's got plenty of time and space. Finds a good ball to Brooks. He's got one. Now he takes him on. Ball whipped in, but no. Kicked out. Bad touch. We have Benji to throw. Looking for Jeremy. Ball hit into the stands. Yeah, no, I, it's on half two already. I, I just turned the music off. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I did, but thank you. Was that low? Yeah, I forgot to turn off the music. Oh, that's my mistake. My mistake, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, my mistake. Good. Uh, if the music was on, just you know this is the second half for Villarreal Blazers. Well, just the, the, the camera does love my voice. Here's Xavier again. <laughs> he got this. And oh how is he missed? Great save by Surely he must score. Three clear-cut chances now for Xavier Gwynn, who's been outstanding. But he just hasn't been clinical enough to finish off the chances. But a, here's another chance, though, for Blazers. That, I think, was... Huge save. Ball again whipped in at the near post. My goodness, how has Maurizio not put that at the back of the net? He was a free man. He was there for the taking. Goalkeeper was absolutely at his mercy. Dominic Colson once again, this time around. It's not as good as the first. And maybe, just maybe Villarreal can break. Look at the pace from Brooks Allen, he he's got options as well. Still Brooks oh, Allen, and the referee not does ball. not yeah. give the foul at all. Uh, but they win it back in their half. They look alive this half. The physicality is there a little more. That's good. Let's see if they can keep it up. Oh, yo, damn, I was getting messages about the music. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my apologies again. Thank you, Mert Merits, yeah. for the reminder on the comments there. Glad to see you on. 
Yeah, Mark Barrett's son. How do you guys see the comments on 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 phone? Yeah, when it's on, when oh, when the is game's on. on. Yeah. Okay, after the game, I can't see it at all. On, on you the have phone. to use a laptop. Yeah. Well, we've got a couple Whoa. of players in the Dangerous. comment section. Ibrahim Koroba! Oh, was that Goshu? Yeah, Goshu, yes. Oh, yeah. He <laughs> didn't look... I don't know if he changed his hairstyle or something. Didn't look moment there for Ibrahim, like Ibrahim Koroba. <laughs> Jeremy Goshu was caught offside five times in that first half. Had his, had his chances as well. Probably will be hoping for a better second half. And now, Villarreal will look for solutions from their bench. And it's man in number 11, Lopez, who has been withdrawn. And in comes Difficult to see the number. Yeah, yeah, difficult. Manning, number 22. That will be um, actually not on here. It's not on here so far. Yeah. Goshu. Xavier Gwynn muscled off the ball. So Oscar is saying to interview Reda after the game, number 80. Yeah, we oh. And tell him he's the man of the match. Brooks Alice trying. Brooks trouble here for Blazers. This is Brooks Alice. Mauricio. Mauricio right in the way to just get the ball. Oh, he's giving the ball away again. Now Summers. Summers, brilliant. Oh, no, Brooks Allen. Brooks Allen is offside. Can any of them stay onside at all in this game? Yeah. Let's hope so, because that was a, even though it was offside, it was a heck of a save. Well, now Jonathan Chacone is down. That's not good. He's okay. He's a quality keeper, too. Yeah, he's good. Still down. There's a couple of Blazers midfielders, by the way, that didn't make the um, the roster for the season, including one Joshua, who was just Joshua Gavilano, who was just a few games away from being a player owner. A reminder there that Blazers is a player owner, uh, player owner um, team. You play certain games, you get part ownership of the club as well. And then there was, um, huh. yeah, yeah. That's, that's a Mauricio. interesting way to. Interesting yeah, it way does. To do it it does. Yeah. yeah, it does bring loyalty to the club, doesn't it? Yeah. And that's an interesting idea because. Uh, oh, I should, maybe I shouldn't have said. Now I, no, I know you're thinking that, about man. it. No worry, you're you're way no. too greedy, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not it. But it does bring loyalty, if anything. Does, yeah. Brilliant here from, oh, Mike Kutuni, just in the way, in the nick of time. I mean, yeah, it's like, that's not, that's not a bad idea, because especially, with, you know, for, for me, it's, I see there's, around the league, there's only a few ways you can attract talent. That's a cool way to attract talent. For me, I like to attract the best players by already having the best players, you know, or having a really disciplined organization. Yeah, but reminder that North Stars haven't won in their last three games, by the way. We have not. Won clean sheets in the history of North Stars as well in the VSSL. <laughs> <laughs> so they definitely... <laughs> there are a lot of words here from their coach, but hey, North Stars are... What team do you... Uh, what team do you look for, Alfred? <laughs> <laughs> Funny story, he actually tried out for Blazers. I was actually tried out. Hey, I was actually going to make it. I just, I just had an injury. <laughs> Brooks Allen. Ooh. 
hope to see Alfred out in the field soon, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, he did. He did see me today. Yeah. Whilst everybody was fighting for me to be on their team, didn't you? Daniel, yeah, there was no one who wanted to play center back except you. <laughs> no, no center back because of the keeper, way I you play. Playing keeper, bro. <laughs> this is uh, man in number three. That's Garcia. Man number forty-three. I think came on at half time. It's a brilliant cross. Oh. Brooks Allen thinks he was fouled. <laughs> But that's going to be only a corner. He's been very dangerous. Like, really, all their all their chances have come from him. The best player. They've, they've done well to stay in the game. Villarreal, maybe they can just nick something from this situation. Oscar is saying that Reda has come in. Ball oh, whipped in again. I wonder if money number 20. Maybe. I mean, he says he's number 80, but it might be number 22. It might be Reda. Kamga is in. Kamga scored two one goal for. He scored against Arlington in their eight one defeat. Had to be cleared away. Not a dangerous counter. A lot of space, a lot of time. Villarreal looking sharper Dominic. and better every single time. This is Dominic. Davies managed to keep it in play and wins the throw for Blazers. Referee and linesman. We're looking at themselves there to make the decision. Ooh, we have a Blazers player down. It looks like it's Jeremy Gosho. No, no, no. It's a huge player for them. Jeremy Gosho. He's a very good player for them. Even Raheem though he's caught Koroma a lot. He's already been ready on the bench. Remember, ex Barco player. Yeah, yeah, Jeremy was an ex Barco Cross player. Yeah. Very good player. As Alejandro Gomez usually says, the spirit of Barcroft lives on, doesn't it? Does. Spread around, spread the around in many teams. Colts are so bad, you would feel about it being the over 50 leagues as NBSL like oh, next season. season. <laughs> We're hoping to live stream his first oh, game. Oh, Jeremy's okay. That's good. <laughs> good to see Jeremy back on his feet. I, I'm yeah. definitely, I'm definitely oh, coming yeah. out to see it. What a player. <laughs> the over 50 games. <laughs> oh, he's, he's. Such a great talent. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremy Goku will have to go out and then come back in. Are they subbing him out or no? The athletic uh, trainer. He's, no, he, no it's, he's coming back in. But Ibrahim Koroma, however, will be making his way in shortly. A reminder that he has four goals for them this season, the highest goal scorer. Gomez. Goshu was coming from an offside position. Oh, Goshu. This is Goshu. Shani! Goshu! Still limping a little bit, but that was a wonderful chance. Blazers, I think they're going to have a goal very soon. Can Villarreal hold on? Villarreal don't clear the lines very well. Oh, and yes! Oh. What a goal by Xavier Gwynn! Finally got to find the back of the net after so many chances. So many chances, chances upon chances. And Xavier Gwynn, with a venomous strike, scores for Blazers to put them in front. 
you know what? what a goal that is! The crazy thing is, that was one of his more difficult chances. Yeah! <laughs> more like a Darwin Nunez side, isn't he? Scores the difficult ones and misses the easier ones. What a goal from Xavier Gwynn, who scores. The captain delivers. Captain, fantastic. What a goal. Villarreal struggled to clear their lines. Blazers took full advantage and have made them pay. But what will be the response now for Villarreal in this game? Brooke Allens is now playing through the middle. This is Kamga. What a turn that is. Kamga for Brooks Allen, who sets off against Maurizio. Brooks Allen! The ball goes round. That's not Brooks Allen, that's 27. That's not Brooks Allen. He's oh, okay, there. actually, sorry, that's Kamga. 99 came off. Oh, yeah, so Brooks Allen has been taken off. Yes. So, man number 27 is Kamga. I'm not too sure about man in 99. We'll try to see. Okay, that is Atanga. It's for Atanga. Okay. Uh, man in the chat's asking what the uh, Arlington score was. Who? Arlington lost by no, five goals to two. Who's asking? Uh, Andy. Andy's asking. Andy's asking. Uh, Andy's asking. Uh, Andy's asking. Uh, from Dream? Yeah, 5-2. Uh, Jeremy. Go, Jeremy! Jeremy Goshu, putting the pressure on. You see the teams are now playing a lot more. Jeremy Goshu wasn't offside, but perhaps the wind. Atanga, Michael Tooney, favorite to get there first, plays it back to the goalkeeper and eases the pressure off. Oh my goodness. Hearts in mouth there as Jonathan play the ball. Evans with the turn, it's a beautiful turn. Just probably feel now Jeremy Goshu is getting tired, so unable to make the runs he was making earlier on. Xavier Gwynn with the goal. Blazers 1, Villarreal 0. It just looks like Blazers will be nicking this one here as the ball goes from a distance. And it's a good try, but perhaps not what they need at the moment. Almost an hour played here at Anadol High School. Blazers lead via the captain, Xavier Gwynn. Alejandro, it mustn't be easy me shout me shouting that way. I, I hope I don't I don't I don't, I don't burst your air drums. <laughs> I like how you know room for your team. <laughs> I say we ought to see you soon out there on that field. Hopefully, hopefully. I need to get my fitness back up to, to the best level. You will be both. You might see me out there. I will, I will try to. You know what? I'll, my, my, I'll, I'll try to play against Noxars and play my absolute best to destroy them. I'll play that game too then. I'm going to nutmeg you like I did today. You did? <laughs> I had him in the Man. ground and he was like crippling. Yeah, like you, a... He's like... <laughs> After after I hit, I got the ball by you, chopped my leg. Oh my goodness! Another. Well, oh, Dominic Colson saw the run of Xavier, unable just to get the pass though. And now Goshu has been taken off, and here comes Vestaman Ibrahim Koroma, a Sierra Leonean by national by nationality, by the way. Oh, he's a dual citizen still. Pretty sure he's more. This is Maurizio. Michael Tooney. Now Tosta looking for Ibrahim Koroma, who was waiting for his first touch. Ibrahim Koroma never shies away from the ball. He's always a winning runner. We will see what his partnership with Xavier Gwynn will bring. 
Ryan Koroma and Xavier just standing just in front of themselves. The flake on was there, but the ball was always going to stray. Fatima Cochran says Xavier Green is his favorite player. Yeah, definitely. That goal, uh, Oscar Melendez said that goal wouldn't have happened if Rader was in. Duran says finally. So Andy Medrano says, <laughs> Eric, what was the. <laughs> oh, surely you're taking the mickey now. That was Kamga trying to get through. Villarreal have to create something now. Time's not in their favor. How much time left in the half? Maybe 30 more minutes. 30? 20? Today. But can Goodness me. And here they go! Oh. Missed the ball. Kamga with his first chance. Well, actually, second chance since coming on. And he just couldn't get the shot away. By the way, I'm not too sure between <laughs> Dominic and, and, and Xavier, who's the captain. Both of them have oh, wow. armbands. <laughs> okay. Oh, captains. <laughs> well, I've never seen that before. That, but I'm, I'm guessing that pro it probably will be Dominic, who's, who's been the captain all along. Because he was the captain as well in that. Very talented, Dominic. Very talented. Michael Otuni whips this one in. Oh, oh is that a penalty? Man. Yeah, that's the thing about referees these days, isn't it? You have to go down to show them that, yes, this is a penalty. It doesn't matter the amount of contact. They want you to go down. But that's definitely a shove in the back. And I think, I think the referee at least should have been considering or, or having a word with the player. One nil for Blazers. Goal scorer Xavier Gwynn. Dominic Colson. Cleared away by Benji. Benji. Yeah, it is. I think it's. I mean, based on what I saw, it should be Benjamin Col Benjamin Colman. And now Evans has been taken off as well. And in comes, I think, it's Kib. Kib? Kib, yeah. First touch real quick. Doesn't waste any time to get involved. Where is the response from the yellow submarine? Blazers coach urging his boys to go up. Another long ball played Ooh. again. He had to get the control right. He did not. Oh, that's just just at the edge of the box in the yellow card as well. It's definitely a foul. He went down first, was hoping that the referee was going to give him the, the advantage. But ended up taking down the opposition player. Dangerous position. Uh, with Jonathan in that, I don't think like a shot on targets in it. From that that far, I was going to go in. According but to Daniel, we'll it's too far to think about going for goal from this distance. Not with Jonathan back then. Not Jonathan with Jonathan back then, yeah. but... He saved a penalty the other day. If right? there's anything me and Noah have learned from these games is how a commentator throws strikes. <laughs> Let's hope you just haven't cursed places here. 
Boom, free kick is direct. And it goes wide. Blazers once again should not relent. Remember what happened midweek? Had the lead and controlled most of the game against Elite FC. And there, just in the wink of an eye, Elite FC came back to win. His first touch, Ibrahim Koroma. Still, well, this is out. Ibrahim Koroma wins the foul. So, a very happy man in number 77. That's going to be Njoku. Ibrahim Kuro. It's a high boots and it's going to be a free kick for Blazers again. Maybe they're going to double their lead from this chance. We'll get to see. And Dominic's going to put it back in the back of the net. Too far for him to think about. Probably way too far. Dominic. Plays it short. The flick on is there. The ball is waiting to be put in in the back of the net. And Kim just couldn't get his head on right. Andrew Gomez. I haven't said his name too much in this second half, have we? He was instrumental last time. So he was winning every ball back there. I guess the ball hasn't been played in that position a lot in the second half. Blazers about to get their first ever UPSL win. They're on the right path. Well, this will be their first win. It's their first season, their second, their third game. So it will be their first win. Lost 2-0 to Alexandria United, lost 5-0 to Virginia Duke. They've allowed the ball to bounce! And the ball goes in! Yes, indeed, for Blazers! It's Benjamin Coleman who scores! It's Villarreal's mistake! It's a Blazers ecstasy, and Blazers double their lead, and they are taking this game away from Villarreal. What a goal. That was a great goal, honestly. But Blazers can't take their foot off the gas, especially 2-0 is the most dangerous lead in, in the sport. Definitely. But wow, what a goal that is for Blazers. And now makes that the seventh goal scorer Blazers have had this season. They're writing another chapter in their very own story. Blazers are having a party here tonight at Anilal High School. Everybody is welcome, of course. Goal scorer Xavier Gwynn and Benjamin, and Benjamin Coleman. He's still talking about. <laughs> Reda. <laughs> well, let us know who's what number Reda is wearing, and we'll we'll try to get a uh, I mean, interview I, with him after. Uh, if he was that good, don't you think they would have put him on? Well, I mean, technically, he said he's on. Oh, he's on, is he? No, oh, Benji <laughs> Goldman. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good one, isn't it? Benji Goldman, Benji Coleman. I think this is going to be a great, great, great win for Blazers. Will be a, a, a huge morale booster as well. They definitely, they have very good quality. I think, you know, they're just in the slump. What a win this will be for Blazers. Only a team making the UPSL debut. By the way, Villarreal do have a UPSL experience. So, uh, apart from the fact that they are beating Villarreal, they're beating a Villarreal that has played a UPSL before, so it's a bonus for them. 
this is the third time, actually the fifth time Blazers have scored two plus goals. And he goes from a distance again. They're trying their luck from far range. But perhaps not exactly what they're looking for at the moment. And they're switching their formation into 3 5 2. See how this helps them out. I did predict 4 1 earlier on. You could get that scoreline. Yeah, or it could turn out to be like the Elite SC Blazers game. Oh, yeah, you go. Oh, it could. Three, two. <laughs> goals and, uh, <laughs> the last jinx five it. minutes. Villarreal, though, not showing any signs at the moment of coming back into this game. The yellow submarines have been taken unaware. It's a terrible mistake. Oh, he can't go back, can he? Oh, he goes back all the way to the goalkeeper. He's been pressed by Xavier. What a control that is. This is Atanga. He's playing with fire. In his own oh, box, no, Xavier. Xavier again! And how hasn't he scored? Oh, we could get another bat at the apple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, is that a penalty? Oh, that is clean. The that Blazers is clean. bench screaming for a penalty, which they are going to get. There's Daniel no does not there's, agree that it's a penalty. There's no way in any universe where that's a goal. Shoulder to shoulder, that's just, you know, he was off balance, fell down. Oh, maybe the referee of the PSG Barca game would disagree. Do you do you agree that do you do you agree with the red card in that game? No, no, that wasn't a red card. It wasn't. He was the last man. I know, but it was it was a soft touch. But still, you're the last man. He's preventing the goal scoring opportunity. He pulled the same thing, and the ref didn't even blow the whistle nor give a yellow card. So you're a Barcelona fan? Oh, oh, oh no wonder. Of course. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure if I ask you, brother, he has a different opinion. Oh, of course. He's <laughs> happy that you know. So it wasn't be the best team made it to the next round, but no, the best team got eliminated. This is Pep. Now Joku. Villarreal no, trying to pull one back here. Atsanga goes past the goalkeeper, rounds him. Still, he needs to release the ball. And the ball has gone out, and his teammates are absolutely disappointed. I think the referee has been very good this game, actually. Yes, he has. He has been on top of every situation. He's gifted out yellow cards like Candice yeah, as well, yeah. hasn't he? Uh, well, it's kept the game calm for the most part. That's good. Kim. Xavier, keep again. All lost. Dangerous. This is Kamga. Ooh, nice. wow. Joku trying to keep that in. Dominic Colson. Oh, what a fantastic player. But puts his team under pressure though. Jonathan playing wow. with fire right in his own box. And it all came from that pass from Dominic Colson. Benji with the header away. Oh, nice. dangerous. Nice. Blazers Beautiful. win it back Beautiful. now, Ibrahim. Ibrahim Koroma. Oh, oh he's that that game. Oh, it's going to be another yellow card here. Referee, certainly not one. He's a no-nonsense type. I think that's like the fifth yellow card he's shown tonight. He's definitely been giving out all that candy today. He's gotten more physical. That's good. wanted a more physical game. They were playing too soft earlier. I guess you're right. The coach probably had that talk. That is a great ball. Great that ball. is a good oh ball. And Koroma is offside. 
Michael Tooney doesn't believe that that should have been an offside call. But well, Andrew, over, Andrew McPhee certainly doesn't agree. 12 minutes, 12 minutes yeah. 12, 12 minutes for the wonderful Villarreal to stage a comeback here. Probably will be the biggest result if they manage to pull anything from this game. Well, the league pulled it off in a minute, two goals. So anything's possible. Anything you just gotta is believe possible. Keep going. There's Daniel. Here's a, here's a chance for them. He has to whip it in the box, surely. Which is also oh. second ball. Oh! Goodness me, it's a free kick. The penalty or free kick? Free At kick. the edge of the box. Imagine if this goes in. Pandemonium will be from that Villarreal bench. That should have been a free kick. He went shoulder to shoulder. I mean, I mean, he did go to on his back. So I guess that that's probably the only reason. Jonathan has a job here to do. He hasn't been called too often tonight. But this is one of those situations where he has to step up Jonathan. He's organizing the wall at the moment. A four-man wall. bringing all their players back. Raheem Koma wanted to stay up. He's been told to, to help. Boop. And the free kick nope. is exactly not, it's not what we were expecting it to be. And that probably will wrap up this match. There's still ten four minutes. minutes. There's ten minutes, but in terms of in, ter in terms of the chance, <laughs> in terms of in terms of what we expect a, a comeback, I'm I'm not too sure now. The chance it, it's going away. Commentator's curse. Be careful. Benji, probably one of the standouts players in tonight's match. Atanga. Joku has managed to drag himself back to an onside position, but the option wasn't there for him. Joku, Villarreal in a rush now. They have no time to waste. Under 10 minutes to go. They're looking for that goal. Still a Villarreal, a Villarreal throw deep in the half of Blazers. This will be sent in long. Throw is long, whipped in. Andrew Gomez away. Oh, it's no. missed. This could be dangerous. Has what a shot. shot! And it's so easy. Jonathan makes it look so easy. Jonathan away. Savior with the header. Michael Tooney. Mauricio. It's awkward for him and had to put it out. And what a waste of a ball that is. Yes, he had plenty of time. Well, that is him. number 80 from Villa, but I don't see an 80 on the field. What number you looking for? Oh, he's gonna get in any moment. Keep an eye on him. I thought he came on. <laughs> oh. Ball lost in transition. This is a Tanga as a player in space. A Tanga's whip. It's a good collection and goes for the spectacular and wastes the chance. I think that was unnecessary. They had numbers, you know. 
I don't know. Villarreal now winning all the ball. Yes. It's coming through the air. Wondering where all this was earlier in the game, you know? Another chance again. And another waste of an opportunity. I mean, the, 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 the misses, good, the misses are good. racking up now for Villarreal. But they need something concrete at this point in the game. In the game. I'm wondering like, where this intensity was for Villarreal throughout the rest of the game. It was, I think they had it for like the first five minutes. Yeah. Lost it. And now all of a sudden, they got their fire back. But is it too late? Probably a bit too late. Well, after that free kick miss, I did say that was the wrap of the game up for me. Let me see if you're right. And, and Noah would tell you that I'm mostly right. Ibrahim Koroma. That was Xavier. Big for them. Oh, that's it. Five minutes more. Or oh, has it been? Is it been five? Yeah, five more minutes to go. Blazers did give up two goals within a minute of stoppage time. Yeah, but the uh, passage of Elite. the passage of play was different. Villarreal really do not look anywhere closer to getting back into this game. Fortunate, yes, but factual, definitely. winning the ball. It's dangerous. Benji will easily collect it. We're looking for Dominic in the middle. Villarreal showing some urgency now. Is it too late? We'll get to see. Nice ball. This is a tanga. Oh, it's yes. dangerous. Yeah. They are creating the chances. It's, they've just been very limited with how they've been able to create chances in this game. Can't get with the header. Kanga's gotten away. Finds him. A chance here. Oh. oh my goodness. He was trying to dribble his way through. Could have taken the shots, perhaps. Blazers need to be careful. Blazers are hanging on now. Benji. Away. Ball played Ball long did. once again. Away from Maurizio, collected by Njoku. Atanga reaching there. Abdul. Blazers trying to play it away. And the ball goes out for a Blazers throw. Oh, look at how happy they are, the bench. Now. Yep, a minute left plus stoppage time, and it goes from a distance there. Is it? Hey, hey, 
Patanga. Foul. Oh, Jimmy, that's good. Now they got to bring everyone. Everyone He's sending every Everybody. yellow shirt forward for this one. Every Villarreal outfield player now counting the Blazers half. It's a brilliant ball. Oh, Jonathan couldn't deal with it. Pressure coming down. Oh, it's been snatched away by Dominic. He's got the run of two players. This is Ibrahim Koroma. Can he find him? Oh. Abdul, still Abdul here to make it three. And it's a corner. Oh, wow. well, looks like Blazers are going to hold on to this. What, there's probably one, two minutes stoppage time. Daniel was hoping for a stoppage time miracle here from Villarreal, but I think it's come to the fact that that's not happening. Yeah, you just want to see a good game, you know, and get it more exciting. They were, they were making it. Yeah, 2-0 yeah, is still a very good game, in my opinion. Or oh, maybe 3 I'm so sore from the game this morning. They've got to try their luck. That's a good ball. He has to go for it. Kamga! Right into the path of Maurizio, who is happy to clear away. Maurizio is so, so instrumental for them back there. Maurizio has put on a fine performance today again. But it's not over yet. Ball is whipped in. Nobody at the end there for Villarreal. And Blazers will happily see the ball out for a throw, which I'm sure they will not be in a desperate rush to take. And they are seeing out this game in the most professional manner you can think about. They're going to get the first UPSL win. The first UPSL win it will be. Gib. Now Dominic. He's lost it. Now is not the time to be losing it in that position. Villarreal still. Lasers have a habit of conceding in these times. But they're still passing the ball around though. No space as yet. And they've had the ball taken away from them. Now Dominic can afford to lose it again. Ibrahim Koroma coming from an offside position. And Kib. Joey. Still. Ball was playing in, in behind Ibrahim Koroma, unable to get it. This is Njoku. Misses his pass, retrieves it again. Villarreal still. There's just chance here for them. Oh, he's got a penalty. Well, the referee for a second there thought about uh, it. <laughs> yeah, I think so, but I don't think he made the right call there. Oh, is that a foul? Yes, it is a foul on Ibrahim Koroma, who is happy to go down. I think that's pretty much it. Was absolutely looking for it. We're we're deep into stoppage time now. We're in. I think we're in borrowed time. Being taken out. Dominic, yep, yeah, he's. Great He's had a good game, but you do feel he was starting to get tired with the way he was giving away the ball at the end. He's had a fantastic game. Here comes Andrew Jennis, who will try his best to see out the game. Andrew Jennis, by the way, has taken the captaincy over um, Dominic Colson, which just tells us that um, Xavier was never the captain um, at all. Xavier as well had been withdrawn. Didn't take note of that. And that marks the end of what has been a promising game here at Annadale High School. They fought hard for the Real, but it was never meant to be for them as Blazers take the win in a 2 0 victory over Villarreal. Thank you very much for being with us. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.
Have a good night. Any, good anything morning. you want to say, Alejandro? Have a good night, y'all. It was a great game. Be, be hey, soon. Padre. Good, good, Tune good, in good, for good the midweek VSSL matches. Oh, how'd it go? Missed two open shots.